Hey, howdy, hey, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Um, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, for today's video, I'm going to be going through the UK three season cast, and I'm also going to be going over some updates and other topics in the Drag Race world. So if that sounds good to you, make sure to hit that like button, comment down below, and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Come join the Sandwich Hour community. And without further ado, let's get this video started. <laughs> So, um, before we get into this cast, I do want to go over a few special topics, and, um, yeah, let's get into it. First, um, thing I want to cover is the fact that we're here, is coming back for season two, and we now have an official announcement saying it's coming back sometime in October. Um, we don't have any official dates for this, of course, but we're here, we'll be coming back to HBO Max, and I am super, super, super excited for this. It's a wonderful show. Obviously, Bob Changela and Eureka are great on it, and I think this is going to be a really good season. Um, Bob has been hyping it up a lot, so I'm really, really, really excited. Um, and I think Bob, I think all of them are going to bring the looks this season, and the makeup and everything, and I cannot wait for this season. Super excited. Let me know down below if you would like to see my reviews of We're Here. I'm not sure if that's something I would do. If that's something you'd be interested in, I can do that. But I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions down below. Up next, we have... I'm going to be talking about the Lip Sync Smackdown special that we had last Thursday, tomorrow. But I do feel like I needed to cover it as the basics of it in this video. First off, Silky's domination of this, special, this episode. Oh my god. You gotta give your props to Silky Nutmeg Ganache. She brought it each and every time. She is was amazing performer, an amazing performer every single time. Truly, truly some of the best lip syncs that we've had on the season. And the props, the props are what made it, honestly. And the fact that she brought, made most of her props herself, made all the outfits, put together her Barbie girl outfit. And anyways, it was iconic. Um, I am doing a more in-depth review on each of the lip syncs. And that will be out tomorrow, so definitely make sure you tune in for that. Um, but yeah, I had to at least mention Silky's domination that happened, because it was iconic. Iconic. Alright, now we are going to get into this cast for UK Season 3. There are 12 queens on this season, and I'm really excited about this. Um, we don't have any official air date, um, but we do know that it will be premiering sometime in the fall. My guess is sometime next month in September. I don't have any official date, like I said, but we do have the official cast. And I'm going to be going over the entire cast and giving you my thoughts and opinions. Um, because this is a pretty interesting cast, I will say. Um, but we'll, let's go and get into it. First, we have Kitty Scott Claus. Um, she looks like a fun queen. Um, I said this in my previous video where I went over the rumored cast list, now that it's official. Um, but she reminds me a lot of Trisha Paytas, in the face at least, and I can see her as Trisha Paytas, and I can't unsee that as well, but, um, she looks really pretty. I love her mug. She looks like a fun queen. With the name Kitty Scott Claus, like, I feel like that has to be a fun queen, if you know what I mean. Um, so I'm pretty excited for Kitty. I think they'll be a really good impersonator, and yeah, I, Kitty stood out to me pretty well from these Made the Queens already. Up next, we have Charity Case who is probably one of the performers I'm the most excited for. Charity Case has such a cool style of drag that is just something that I love. It's definitely very much something that you would see on Dragula, and I can't wait to see Charity Case on this season. Um, I think Charity Case is probably the queen I'm the most excited for, if I'm being honest. Just such a fun aesthetic, such a cool aesthetic, and I love this dragon look. I love the colors. I love the jewels. I love this look so much. So special, so unique, and honestly, that's what I get from Charity Case right from the start, and I can't wait for Charity Case on this season. Um, like I said, they are the queen I'm the most, most excited to see on this season. Up next, we have Scarlet Harlot. She looks really pretty. I like her mug. I like the wig. The dress is fine. Um, again, so a lot of these 
queens, if I'm being honest, they do kind of, some of the queens do blend together in my eyes. I'm not trying to be mean, I'm just being giving my honest opinion. And Scarlet is one of them, they kind of just all blend together into an amalgam of them all. I don't know, maybe that's just me. I'm excited for Scarlet, don't get me wrong, but I, they all kind of blend together at some point for me. Um, I don't know if that's just me, I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions down below. Um, but her mug is really pretty and I like the wig. Yeah. Up next, we have Vanity Milan. She is serving you face and hair and dress and stunning gorgeousness. Stunning, gorgeous, lovely. Love the mug, love the look. Gorgeous queen, really, really excited for Vanity. I think they will be a fierce competitor and i very, 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 very excited for Vanity. Also one of the queens I'm the most excited for. Up next, we have Teresa May from Espana. Originally from Espana, but now lives in Newcastle, I believe. Um, she seems like a campy queen. Um, again, it's kind of hard to tell too much from just the music queens. But, um, she did stand out a little bit to me, at least. Um, so there's that. I, she seems like a fun queen, so I'm excited to see what she'll be like in the confessionals, be on the show, how the judges will interact with her, and all the above. I'm excited for... Theresa May. Yeah, Theresa. She seems fun. Yeah, that, that's all I gotta say about Theresa. Up next, we have Crystal Versace. Another queen. I, pretty face, again, pretty mug. I Again, like, she's another one of the queens for me, at least. One of the queens for me, at least, that kind of blends together. Um, But she looks stunning. I love this orange on her. I love that mug. I love that wig. She looks gorgeous. It just, um, I love to see what she's like. On the show, obviously. Next, we have Victoria Scone, who is our first cis female drag queen on the show, on any franchise of Drag Race, and I cannot wait to see her compete. Her makeup style, her face is gorgeous. I'm obsessed with her mug. I'm obsessed with this outfit. And just, she represents such a huge step in the world of Drag Race. And I'm so excited for her. I'm so excited to see what she'll be like on the show. And again, one of the queens I'm the most excited for. If I'm being honest here. I love her face. She sings. She acts. I'm sure she's gonna kill it. Can't wait. Next, we have Electra Fence. Um, she seems nice. I don't know. She seems cool. Um, I'm not crazy about this outfit or the makeup. It's fine. Again, I'm not one to judge drag makeup. Like, I'm not. I'm still an amateur, obviously. But, um, it's fine. I like the way she looks. I don't know. I, like, she looks nice. I like her smile. I don't know. She looks cool. We'll have to see what she's like on the show. I don't know. I'm trying to be honest here with my opinions. Um, just, I don't know. I, I'm not as excited, but I am excited for her. I'm excited for her. I'm excited to see how the world responds to her. Yeah, let's put it that way. That's good, yeah. Um, next, we have Ella Vade. I love the name Ella Vade. I just think that's a fun name. I love this wig. Her mug is stunning. It is stamped. Her face is chiseled. Gorgeous. I really like the dress with all the crystals. Um, I like this look a lot. I, I think she's cool. Um, I think she'll be a good competitor. I don't know. I, again, like, some of these queens start to blend together, if I'm being honest. Um, but she looks gorgeous. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Next, we have Anubis. An Anub Anubis. 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 Right, I called her Anubis before, but it's Anubis. Um, she's half Egyptian, so that's cool. I'm excited for her. I like her mug. I, I don't know. She seems like a fun queen, I guess. I like all the tattoos she has. I think those are fun. Um, I love a tattooed queen. And, yeah, she looks good. I don't know. Again, it, like, I, she looks good. Let's put it that way. She looks good. Up next, we have River Medway. Again, um, really pretty mug. Nice dress. I don't know. She looks pretty. Um, again, another queen who kind of blends together with the rest, if I'm being honest with, here. Um, but I'm excited for her. I'm excited to see how she'll do in the competition. I'm excited to see how the world responds to her. These are all my own opinions, so please leave a comment down below what you think. Um, but hey, that, that's just how I feel. And finally, we have Veronica Green. 
from C Season 2 of Drag Race UK. Obviously, she's back for Season 3. She got COVID in Season 2. Now she's back. Um, I don't know. Y'all remember that finale dress she wore where it was like her as a superhero Sailor Moon look thing short? Um, I assume she was wearing that to save money for UK3, right? That was my assumption, that she wore something that was a bit more basic to really bring in some really cool runways for UK3. And I feel like the promo is a big opportunity for her with UK Season 3. And I feel like she didn't bring it. I feel like this is very much basic, if I'm being honest. I like Veronica. I love Veronica. I just feel like... It, I feel like we've seen this already. I feel like we've seen this from so many different queens. She looks gorgeous. I love that wig. It's just my own opinion on this. Like, if you are coming back from the previous season, I want you to bring it even harder. You know, I want to see even more. I want to gag. Especially for the promo. Like, that's where you need to really just go, bam, this is me, I'm back, you know? And I don't get that from this picture. She looks pretty. Don't get me wrong, I just don't get that from this picture, so, in my own opinion. Again, I, I'm not trying to send hate to Veronica, I'm just giving you my opinion. Um, overall though, I'm pretty excited for this cast. Um, like I said, the queens I'm the most excited for, obviously Charity Case, Vanity Milan, and Victoria Scone. Those are the three I'm the most excited for. I'd love to hear you, who you are the most excited for down below in the comments. If you like this video, please like it, share it all over social media, and I will be back tomorrow with my Drag Race Lip Sync Smackdown reviews. I don't know what to call it, but I will be reviewing uh, Silky's Lip Syncs tomorrow, and I'm really excited for that. Anyways, that does bring the end of my video. Make sure to follow me on social media, Twitter and Instagram, and TikTok at Samateur Hour. Make sure you're liking this video if you like it. Comment down below what you think about these videos, and if there's any other content you want to see me do, and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Come join the Amateur Hour community. And I'll be back here tomorrow. Bye, guys.